What's up guys, NJ2205 Gundam here, and today we recording a 30 subscribers special. Yeah, since yeah recently I reviewed the Amazing Exia, it was a big, I don't know what to call it. But yeah, lots of people are commenting on this and I got something wrong from the Exia Dark Matter. Yeah. I forget about the names of the blades and everything. And yeah, this is the this is the five kits I reviewed in English that I chose to be on, on today's special. Yeah, because why? Yeah, the Amazing Exia was the brotherhood of the Exia Dark Matter, so I pick it up and also the most popular suits I've ever reviewed since it was the first review on the planet. And also the Goof R35, yeah, I was also, yeah, I think I was the second to review this kit. Yeah, because Hadouken Gundam had bet me, yeah, had beaten me to review this kit. But yeah, I just got it on the model class, so it doesn't quite matter. And also the crossbow and the Mao. Yeah, I took two takes and I... have Discarded the demo version of the review, and it was somewhat popular, as I like to call it. And also the Wing Gundam Fan S, since the Renasta version is coming next month, so I picked this up and put it in this special. And I don't know whether you want me to review the Gundam Fan S Renasta. Yeah, because I broke the claw, I'm risking not to reveal the, the Renasha with this guy, but I'll try. So, these are all Build Fighters kits, as you can see, because I'm collecting a lot of Build Fighters kits recently. And of course, I, yeah, the Amazing Exia, most popular. So, this could be about it, but I want to let you know about my collection since it's almost the first anniversary of my channel. Yeah for the kids I did not pick, yeah the Star Real Strike, yeah, I I want to pick this guy for the special today. But yeah since it's reviewed in Chinese it's not worth to pick it up. And behind that is the Stargazer fighting the Freedom Gundam and it's all reviewed in Chinese. And the Freedom Gundam just broke its wing. So, I'm not picking those two guys up. And also, I broke the rings from the Stargazer Gundam. But anyways, I can repair it, and I'm not gonna touch it ever again. And here is the Banshee headstand. And I'm going to get the Banshee Norn whenever it is on stock. Yeah, because in my local mod in my model shop, it was always out of stock and it was sold in a very very reasonable price for me 129 Hong Kong dollars which normally it was 200 so yeah I bought that I bought it in that price for the double O riser and I'm hoping to get that kit and reveal it since it's my first unicorn Gundam review and over here is the Infinite Justice which was my first kit that I've ever reviewed in my whole channel and you may check that out and you can request me to yeah, make an English review of the models you see on the shelves and over here is the RG Destiny Gundam which I keep it in the same pose because yeah I broke it in the frame and yeah I'm not going to ever move this guy again and over here are some leftover parts from the model kits and one of Destinies and yeah these are the six kits or should I specifically say five on my room shelf and also over here I got the Gundam Air Master the review is not up yet but I hope it will be up within this summer or the first day I mean the first few weeks of September. So, these are the kits I collected so far, and they're somewhere outside the living room, but I bothered to show it. 
So, let's return back to my recording base. So, I'm back at my recording base, and I'm always doing this freehand because, yeah, it's such a wide scene. Yeah. So, hope you guys enjoy the video and the stickers peeling off. God damn. Hope you guys enjoy the video and please let me know in the comments whether you want to request me to review the wing the wing Gundam finish Renasta and other kits. Yeah, pretty much high grade is possibly okay. Yeah, master grade is too expensive, I cannot afford it. And I still have the Master Grade Blue Frame Second Revised third party version building. Anyways guys, that's about all to show for this video and I hope for some some more subscribers so please subscribe if you're new to the channel and also drop a like on the amazing XCS review. Yeah, I seen a lot of people have dropped eight yeah my video has eight dislikes on it, but it doesn't matter. Since that compliments that keep me moving I didn't bother to mind those 8 dislikes. But anyways, it's best to leave a like on that video and also this video. And also, repeat it. Please let me know in the comments which kit you do you want me to review. But anyways, that's about all I have to show for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. I'm wondering for my style. How should I review the model kits? Yeah, I thought of it. Since the XCR Dark Matter and the Amazing XCR was seen in the same review, it's popular. Maybe I could do two at one time. Or maybe some similar kits that are, that are already built. And a new one that was recently built. Who knows? I never saw a model review had two kits compared in the review for the whole time. 